Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking Numbuzin Number 5 Plus line. I've been teasing these products all month long. You know, my Olive Young ranking top selling products video. I also talked about them in the Glutathione Ingredient Spotlight video. But, you know, there's been so much interest in these products. The newly released toner is getting a lot of attention, and these are just some of the top selling products at Olive Young right now. There's a lot of interest I figured let's do a dedicated video let's put the spotlight on these products I'm gonna give you um, a real good deep dive into textures and ingredients and performance my thoughts on the products so if you are so ready to dive deep into the Numbuzin plus line toner pads toner and serum give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump in <music> So the number five plus line from Numbuzin is all about brightening up the skin and they are using multiple active brightening ingredients in order to achieve that. And they're not just looking to address like a general brightening concern, like, Hey, my skin's looking kind of dull and lifeless. I'd really like to even things out and kind of get that lit from within healthy glow to my skin. Although these products will help you achieve that. If that's your goal, I think that the intention of this line is really to focus in on certain brightening concerns like hyperpigmentation left over from acne marks, dark spots, brown spots, gray uh, discoloration, um, like mask-like patches on the skin, melasma, sun damage. And I do find that the three products we're going to talk about today um, do shine in specific brightening areas. I think the whole line is good if you wanted to use all, the whole line together. I think you'd get some really bright skin, right? Um, but if you maybe only have the budget for one product or two products, I'm really going to try to highlight what it, it does best, how it brightens the skin the best way. So the number five plus vitamin niacinamide concentrated toner pads, I think these really shine for brightening hyperpigmentation or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation after acne. So it's kind of like that, that dark discoloration after some type of trauma to the skin or inflammation to the skin. I think that's where the brightening actives here really shine. As far as skin types, I think any skin type is going to enjoy this product. It has a really nice, pleasant texture, but I will point out that this product does contain some denatured alcohol. That's a drying form of alcohol. And so if your skin is reactive to that type of ingredient, this may not be the right one for you. So the active brightening ingredients in this formula include glutathione, tranexamic acid, and 5% of niacinamide. Now, as I mentioned at the top of the video, I do have a dedicated ingredient spotlight video for glutathione, but I'm going to give you a quick overview right now because this is actually the backbone of all of the products in the number five plus line. Glutathione is an antioxidant that helps to protect your skin from oxidative stress. It also helps to protect from um, damage from UV rays. It doesn't just protect your skin as an antioxidant though. It is technically also a peptide. Uh, it does use three amino acids and the three particular ones that make up the peptide of glutathione actually uh, interrupt an enzyme that causes discoloration on the skin. So it actually does help um, to brighten up the skin. Now, tranexamic acid is a really hardworking brightener for the skin as well. This is an ingredient that can address multiple different types of discoloration on the skin. So definitely um, inflammatory marks, uh, dark marks, gray patches. It's particularly good as an over-the-counter remedy for melasma and sun damage. It is um, particularly good for stubborn hyperpigmentation that maybe has not... Um, um, responded to more common brighteners like niacinamide. It actually works similar to glutathione in the fact that it helps to interrupt um, some of the pathways where melanin is occurring in the skin from inflammatory events or from the sun or, you know, sun damage, things like that. Um, so it actually kind of has that similar mechanism of interrupting those enzymes, um, but it actually kind of goes at different multiple pathways to disrupting uh, the discoloration on the skin. And what's also very interesting about it is that it can help to prevent uh, further discoloration or pigmentation from occurring on the skin. Now, of course, good old niacinamide is in here as well at 5%, which is an extremely effective amount. Now, we do have some other antioxidant content in here. We have coenzyme Q10. We also have ascorbic acid. Now, I didn't really mention it as one of the active brightening ingredients in here. It is pure vitamin C. There is going to be a brightening benefit to this antioxidant, but it is in a very 
small amount. Part of the reason I like these toner pads particularly for um, hyperpigmentation after acne is the two exfoliants that these contain, LHA and PHA. These are kind of new generation AHAs and BHAs. Uh, they both actually work to gently exfoliate the skin. And again, we do have denatured alcohol here. Uh, it is listed on the ingredients list as ethanol. Um, that is another name for alcohol or denatured alcohol. Um, so sometimes it's, it's easy to miss that one if that's not kind of like in your on your radar for denatured alcohol. So these toner pads are super drenched in this jelly like essence. It's not like really thin and watery. There's a little bit of like a bouncy gel like quality to these, but they are actually extremely hydrating. And like I said, very drenched in this jelly bouncy essence. Um, I find them actually to be very pleasant to use. Uh, these big square patches cover very large areas. It does come with 70 if you get the jar packaging, um, which I think is a very fair amount. Sometimes toner pads, I feel like they can be kind of small. They come in smaller quantities and they feel like maybe you run through them a little fast. Maybe you don't get the value out of them. I think these are nice and generously sized um, and a good quantity. I will let you know, I only tested out the deluxe samples that I got in the three, the, the set of three of these products that I bought from Olive Young a couple of months ago. Uh, as I've mentioned multiple times, the denatured alcohol in here, uh, it's not a fit for my skin. So I knew I wasn't going to do like extensive testing with these, but I did actually use them on my chest and on my back um, because I do break out there and I, I just get hyperpigmentation. If there's in inflammation, there's hyperpigmentation with my skin and I've been working out a lot more and that does mean some more like of that, like body congestion can happen quite a bit. And so I was really pleasantly surprised with the amount of hydration that these deliver to this skin, but I also really liked the combination of the exfoliants and the brighteners. I really feel like this helped to keep the breakouts and the congestion down uh, just by the LHA and PHA alone, but then all of those brightening ingredients really did help to address some hyperpigmentation that I had from some previous congestion that other products hadn't um, really targeted, right? I was getting a lot of exfoliation, but I wasn't getting the brightening. So I love the combination here. I'm always looking for multiple benefits. And if you're stuck in that cycle of breakouts and um, hyperpigmentation and, and dull looking skin, right? It is really important for you to streamline your routine. I think not adding in every single little brightener and every single little exfoliant and every little acne treatment, but, but try to combine it into more powerful, um, well thought out formulations. I personally think like this one, quite honestly, the formulation and the delivery mechanism of this particular product, I don't think makes it well suited for treating sun damage. So as I mentioned, if you can only get one product and you really want to work on sun damage, freckles, melasma, things like that. This is not it. Um, I wouldn't waste your money on this. Wait until I talk about the serum. Um, but if you are looking to add some toner pads into your routine, you're particularly looking for the inflammatory hyperpigmentation and maybe also looking for some of those gentle exfoliating benefits at the same time, this would be the product for you. Now let's talk about number five, vitamin boosting essential toner. I think this is best for those who are looking for the hydration of a toner, but the brightening of an essence. This product can cover both of those categories effortlessly. I think it's especially good if you are dealing with some dull skin, some discoloration, um, the hyperpigmentation, maybe even a little bit of sun damage. And you're also looking to kind of boost up the well aging benefits of that toner and essence product along with the brightening. And I think this is going to work for any skin type. It has a, a really nice pleasing texture. So active brightening ingredients in here include niacinamide. We also have three 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, which is a vitamin C derivative. It's, it's a little bit more stabilized, slightly gentler on the skin. It also does have the pure form of vitamin C, ascorbic acid, just a tiny bit here, as well as arbitin and hypophyraminoids water, which is also known as C. buckthorn or also known in K-beauty by the nickname vitamin tree. In the toner, they're using a liposome glutathione, and that actually encapsulates the glutathione. Remember that brightening antioxidant 
antioxidant um, and helps to keep it really, really efficacious, very potent for the skin. It helps to deliver it a little bit deeper into the skin too. Um, so it's a really interesting treatment of the glutathione in the particular toner. And I do want to point out that this does not contain any tranexamic acid, um, but what they have kind of subbed in for that ingredient in this formula is Arbitin. So Arbitin is a plant derived ingredient and its main benefit is that it actually, once it gets onto your skin, it actually converts into hydroquinoin, which is an ingredient that helps to inhibit melanin production on the skin. Now this um, might be familiar to you. Hydroquinoin is actually a prescription ingredient and it is the gold standard for treating stubborn pigmentation on the skin, particularly sun damage and melasma. Um, it is a potent but very effective ingredient. And as I mentioned, you can only get it through a prescription. So um, this isn't like a workaround or a loophole to getting hydroquinoin. This is going to work very differently on the skin. I guess it's similar to how over-the-counter retinol actually um, converts into tretinoin on the skin. Again, a prescription only, um, very potent ingredient. Now we do also have some peptides in the mix that are giving a variety of benefits really to this toner. Acetylhexapeptide 8, also known as argrelene, that's kind of that firming um, Botox-like peptide. They're using hexapeptide 9, which is another anti-aging type of peptide. It it does actually help to stimulate some collagen production for the skin. We have Nona Peptide 1, which is actually a brightening peptide. We have Matrixyl in here, which is a um, peptide that helps to address the look of fine lines and wrinkles by stimulating collagen. And then we also have Matrixyl 3000, which is two peptides and like that next generation of Matrixyl. So I love the texture of this toner because it has a bouncy jelly-like quality to it. You can see it has quite a bit of body, but it's still runny and as you uh, get this onto your skin and you uh, just like swipe it that first swipe it actually kind of starts to become more watery it's not quite as thick as it appears when you first pour it out of the bottle and it actually dives into the skin quite quite deep it does deliver a nice amount of hydration that little bit of gel uh, or jelly like texture kind of plumps out the skin and um, it does leave the skin feeling really nicely balanced there's just a touch like a like a, a very very gentle little pinch of moisture to this, but it's not like a greasy, oily type of moisture. I don't feel that the brighteners are watered down in this formula. I can feel the vitamin C. Um, if you're sensitive to ascorbic acid, do not use this. Um, I can be sensitive to ascorbic acid. I can feel the ascorbic acid in this formula. Um, if you know, you know, right? Um, so probably skip out on this if ascorbic acid is not for you. Um, but generally, I am very impressed with how concentrated this is. I am impressed with how fast this works. I have been going through uh, quite a period of dull skin lately because I've actually been dealing with some health stuff um, that has definitely made my skin just not be lit from within, truly. And a lot of that is working on the health stuff that's going to help, but I was a lot more prone to um, hyperpigmentation from pimples. I had a lot more of that going on with my skin. I just had like a dullness. My pores seemed very enlarged and very like um, full of, of, you know, the oxidative like blackheads, right? Um, so it just, my whole skin, you know, appearance just felt very dull uh, for a period of time. And I really feel like this kind of lifted everything up in a really, nice way. It really evened out some of the the uh, unevenness and the, the patchiness that I felt like I, I had on my skin. It really helped with the hyperpigmentation from some of the uh, more inflammatory pimples that I had gone through because of the health issues, right? Um, I just think it brought a really beautiful glow to my skin. I'm also always working on sun damage. I've addressed like over 70% of it over the last couple of years, but there's still just those few stubborn spots on my cheeks um, that I feel like this has helped. It is way too soon for me to really report on that. So I wanna be very clear and very upfront. Sun damage takes a very long time to address. It takes a long time to form and to emerge on the skin. And it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take way more than one bottle of toner, right? But I feel like this is kind of 
just like a booster in my skincare routine. This isn't even, as I, I'm saying it's very concentrated, this isn't even the most concentrated out of the line, but it's been a really nice uh, booster addition to my skincare routine. I've also been pulling it after I got through the toner pads and I was like, I really liked the effect of those, but I'm not gonna invest in you know toner pads just for my chest. But I've been pulling this down to my chest as well to deal with some more of that hyperpigmentation. And I'm just very impressed with how how potent the brighteners are for a toner like format one thing i did want to address about the toner quickly before we move on i did actually get some comments on the glutathione video asking if this actually has any scent because some people said that they had picked up like some funky scents on this i actually haven't um but what i did notice is once i got a little bit more air in this bottle if i squeeze up you know when you kind of like squeeze the bottle and let the air shoots out I do that under my nose. Yeah, it smells foul. <laughs> there is something a little bit off about it. It's probably the ascorbic acid because we all know ascorbic acid smells like dog food or hot dogs, right? When I pour it out onto my hand like that and I put my nose in it, I smell nothing. The chances of you really getting this kind of experience just by using it, you're not gonna be pouring it like that, right with your nose up into it. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Now let's talk about the number five plus vitamin concentrated serum. Now this is really gonna be best for those who have the serious brightening concerns because as you may be able to guess, the serum out of the toner pads and toner is the most highly concentrated and I think the most effective brightener out of the three. And because a lot of the claims around this serum and a lot of the active ingredients that they have chosen do actually have benefits for melasma and sun damage, this is the product I'm going to recommend if that's your main goal with a brightening product. This is going to be your best bet. And I actually think this is going to work for any skin type as well. All three of these products I really do feel have a general skin type or like a general audience in mind. So I can see it working across from oily skin all the way up to dry skin, even bound skin and combo in between I think that this texture will suit you so we're also building upon the theme here with the active brightening ingredients a lot of familiar faces will be here in the serum so you'll notice that we do have niacinamide arbutin vitamin C in a couple of different forms they have added another derivative ascorbyl glucoside um, but we also do have tranexamic acid at four percent so um, we had tranexamic acid in the toner pads but not at a disclosed percentage so here in the serum we have a more concentrated um, highly effective amount four percent is a, actually a very good amount and they've included five percent of panthenol now panthenol is not a brightening ingredient as you probably know it's a hydrating humectant ingredient however panthenol doesn't just hydrate your skin and make it feel plump and juicy right it's barrier supportive it's a soothing ingredient um, and it's actually an ingredient that formulators use in formulations like this with some pretty aggressive active brightening ingredients. You know, Arbutin, vitamin C, in my mind particularly, are ingredients that can kind of push your skin. They can be a little bit much, especially if you are sensitive. And so panthenol is one of the ingredients that actually is used in these types of formulas to help your skin accept these ingredients a little bit better because they are Panthenol has a soothing anti-inflammatory benefit to it, and it's also a barrier supportive ingredient. So this has a really nice, pleasing gel texture. It kind of rides the line between a light gel and like a medium gel. It's not full on medium. I felt heftier gel serum textures, um, but there is a little bit of body to this, but I've actually been really impressed with how this texture performs on the skin because the absorbency of this is really, really good. I I don't feel like this is an extremely hydrating gel texture. It doesn't like dive super deep into the skin, although it does contain panthenol, right? It's really not the main goal of the serum to hydrate your skin. The main goal is to brighten your skin. And I'm very impressed with it kind of, like I said, kind of having a foot in that medium kind of a feel and weight on the skin. The way that it absorbs, it just absorbs so quickly into the skin and it feels very light once it is absorbed. Um, it feels very breathable and there's no greasy there's no stickiness there's no shine on top of your skin now I'm gonna be totally honest with you as far as like my results with this um, using this I've noticed results for hyperpigmentation so um, I have some dark spots as I mentioned already that were left over from when I got pimples that got inflamed and swollen on my skin absolutely worked for that dullness 
absolutely work for that. I think it actually helped a little bit with just like like pores and just like uh, enlarged pores. And like I call it enlarged pores pulling my skin down. And what I mean by that is one, once your pores look large, once they look a little bit, uh, you know, full of sebum and, and blackheads, right? Um, it really makes your skin not only look dull and discolored, but it also makes your skin look very texturized, you know, as well. It just takes away from that smooth, bright lip from within healthy look. I do feel like this helped with that, which was not something I was expecting, nor is it even something I think that this promised anything with pores, but it just for me and my, where I was at testing this product out, it really seemed to help with that. Um, so overall, a lot of that was addressed um, with this. I did see benefits with the toner, right? Um, but as far as sun damage, where I'm at with my sun damage right now, I'm on the last leg of like the most stubborn freckles. And and I haven't really seen too much of a change there. I don't think I've personally used this product long enough. And I honestly would have to probably get to the end of this bottle before I could even give you an idea of what I think has occurred um, in that area with this. So I guess once this is empty, I will have to do like an empty update and let you know about that. And I think anybody who is going to talk about sun damage being, um, being addressed, uh, and they've only used the product for a month, a few weeks, I would take it with a big grain of salt, uh, quite honestly. Um, even if, if if it's not like a prescription hydroquinone, just take it with a grain of salt. I just don't think that over-the-counter skincare can work that fast. It is potent. It is a little aggressive, quite honestly. Um, if you have very, very sensitive skin, this is a serious product with serious brightening um, ingredients in it at a serious concentration. So pr please proceed with caution, especially if you have had sensitivities to ascorbic acid, especially in the past. If Arbitin has been an ingredient that's a little stimulating for your sensitive skin, proceed with caution. This is not sprinkles of Arbitin and sprinkles, a little sprinkle of, of ascorbic acid, but the way everything comes together, it can be quite stimulating for the skin. Make sure you have really good sun protection when you're using this too. Now, I know some people have com been complaining about the concentration of the active ingredients in all of these products, um, but especially, of course, in the serum. We can make some educated guesses, but even cosmetic chemists will say, I can't just look at percentages. I can't just look at ingredients and tell you exactly how something is going to be. I have to try it uh, because an ingredients list just doesn't give us that type of information. But I always think about skincare formulation, and I'm just an enthusiast, I'm not a chemist, let's be clear about that. Um, but I always think about formulation as like baking a cake, right? We don't need like equal or high percentages of all the active ingredients, like if you're baking a chocolate cake. We don't need 50% chocolate, and we don't need 50% baking powder or like, you know, a whole cup of salt, right? It's actually some very key ingredients when you're baking a cake that are used in incredibly small quantities that if you screw it up if you don't put it into the into the mix or if you put too much you get the measurement wrong it makes or breaks the cake if you do not put salt in your cake you'd be surprised at how the flavors fall flat just a pinch of salt in like a mixture for cake will actually enhance the chocolate flavor and bring out all the complexities right if you mess up the baking powder your cake either will not rise and be spongy and fluffy right if you put too much in it you'll taste it and it'll overpower the chocolate and it'll not taste good right um yeah so I like to think about it that way because we always kind of want the biggest, the best, whatever. Um, but that's really not how chemistry works and that's not how things come together. And it's quite the same for skincare as well. If we had everything in high percentages, we'd probably be burning our faces off. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. All of that information helps us to assess skincare before we purchase it, but it's not very helpful um, to determine how it's actually gonna function once we get it onto our skin. The only way we know is when we put it on. It's always important to remember that formulation is, is queen, right? Over just an ingredients list, over just isolated percentages. It's how everything works together. And so kind of bringing it back home, right? I do think that the way everything works together in this formula 
is very beneficial. Um, I think it's really intriguing. I think that this is not gonna be just that type of line. And I'm not I'm talking about all the products, right? It's not just gonna be that type of line that just gives you a general brightness to your skin or like, yeah, my skin just looks a little bit better. I really do think if you have some serious brightening concerns, you should look at this line and see if it's the right fit for you. So have you tried any of the products from this line? I'm curious about your experience using them. Let me know in the comments below. And if you love the video, it was helpful to you, but you haven't hit subscribe, I would be so honored if you come join our community, especially if you love K-beauty and deep diving into ingredients because that's what my channel is all about. Turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. Thanks for being here with me today. I love you so much and I really do hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world and I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Bye.